So this is gonna be a quick video. I'll do a full build on this later. I also wanna add some additional seasonal mods when we get there. I want to get this out as quickly as possible cause, so as people are going in raids in a new Solar 3.0, they can, especially if they're on a hunter, think about how they could spec things out and do some crazy damage against enemy opponents. So in the footage that you're getting ready to look at, what you'll see is I do a base damage against an enemy of 2701, okay? Great, it's a, with a solar hand cannon. Then I'm going to use that plus Radiant. Radiant is a new ability on the Hunter that you get that potentially could buff your entire team if you do it in certain ways, but can also just give yourself extra damage potential. And it lasts for a period of time. The easiest way to do this is with a new Acrobatic Dodge that I actually like. It's actually really useful. It can get you out of, da out of, out of danger really quickly. So I actually prefer it to some of the other dodges the Hunters had in the past. So if you become Radiant with your base damage, that's a 25% buff. If you do that, you'll see here I get 3,376 damage, which is 125%. That makes sense it's a 25% increase. Now what's unique is that if I add Radiant plus Fauna Might, which I'm going to get from getting a well, and if I add that to High Energy Fire, High Energy Fire in this case actually stacks with Radiant. It's lower, it's a 20% buff, but it still stacks. From testing that I saw, the highest rate would basically override, so if you had something that was over Radiant, it wouldn't stack, but something under, which sounds like a bug, which could be patched at some point, so we probably need to look into this, those things stack. So if you put those together, I get 5,063, which is a 87% damage boost. Now let's, uh, that's obviously going to help you out a great deal. And as we do build crafting and things like that, that'll help out. But one thing you can add on top of that is bait and switch. So bait and switch got a buff in the last season and it's a 35% uh, buff basically. So Again, base damage, 9,698. Then I add bait and switch. That's 13,092, which again is a 35% buff. If I add that in with Radiant, again, that's 16365, which is a 60 9% buff, 68, depends on rounding. Again, that's the 1.25 with the 1.35, because remember, buffs and destiny multiply by each other, they don't add. But then if you add that with bait and switch, radiant, high energy fire, and find a mite, which again, I'm getting because I'm picking up a well, which is giving me high energy fire, but it's also giving me fond of might. I get a 24,547, which is 150% damage potential. So this is gonna be really helpful for DPS. And I'm absolutely certain looking at some of the mods, there's probably stuff you can build on top of this that I need to play around with. But I wanted to get this out to you really quickly. If you're on a hunter this season, you need to look at Radiant. You need to put your builds around Radiant. I think you definitely need to look at Elemental Well mods, right? And you need to look at things like High Energy Fire. Stacking all those together, hopefully, you know, this is something Bungie intended. If it's not, it could get patched. So I would definitely get in there and do it quickly. This would even help with something like Sleeper Simulant. Obviously, you're not going to have the buff that you have with Bait and Switch, but Sleeper is a pretty potent weapon already. So play around with those things. I'm going to do some DPS tests this week. But again, if you guys find out different some additional results, if there's some different combos we could do, feel free to drop in the comments or drop over my Discord and let's talk about it. That's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians of the Tower.